the Battle of Nedao, was a battle fought in Pannonia in 454, between Huns and their former vassals. Nedao is believed to be a tributary of Sava River. After the death of Atiyo the Hun, allied forces of the subject peoples under the leadership of Ardalvich, king of the Gepids, defeated the Hunnic forces of Elak, the son of Attila, who had struggled with his brothers Ernak and Dengiz each for supremacy after Attila's death. Elak himself was killed in the battle. According to the 6th century historian Giordanus, and so the bravest nations tore themselves to pieces. For then, I think, must have occurred a most remarkable spectacle, where one might see the Goths fighting with pikes, the Gepidae raging with the sword, the Rugi breaking off the spears in their own wounds, the Suavi fighting on foot, the Huns with bows, the Alani drawing up a battle line of heavy armed and the Herali of light armed warriors. Jordanus claims that, in the Battle of Nedao, Ostrogoths fought against the Huns but this is rejected by some modern historians like Herwig Wolfram or Hyenjin Kim. The latter believes that, this is a forged story and that Balamir himself fought alongside the Huns. On the contrary, J.R. Martindale and Franz Ulvheim accept that the Ostrogoths were among the victors of Nedao, while many others, including Otto J. Manchen Helfin, believed that they did not participate at all. Aftermath Hunnic dominance in Central and Eastern Europe was broken as a result of the battle. It is hard to reconstruct the exact course of events, but by early 460s the Hunnic Empire was finally dissolved with Gepids, Rugi, Herali, Subi and Ostrogoths achieving independence and eventually becoming federates of the Eastern Roman Empire. The Huns, reorganized under Deng Isish, moved to the east where they attacked the Eastern Roman Empire and were decisively defeated in 469. After that point, Huns ceased to exist in the European history.